All right, and we're back with a showcase of Rankify AI. It's just another AI writer. I'm not super excited about AI writers these days. Now that I found Koala Writer, it's hard to beat, unfortunately. So I'm probably a little hard on AI writers as far as a reviewer goes. I did go ahead and pick up Tier 1. From what I've seen, I'm not super impressed with it, especially with their website, where if we scroll up here, even their test pictures with their articles has lorem ipsum in it so that's not a good sign and again over here on the side you'll see more let's hope that was just them being lazy instead of actually taking a picture of their stuff and it's just a simple one page website anyways so once you buy the tier you activate it this is what it comes up i haven't looked at anything yet we're doing it the good old-fashioned learn wire way <laughs> learn as we go organization name uh, we'll do wines uncovered since i kind of let that out of the bag in the last review let's continue our virtual tour of onboarding next create your own workspace next you can add your own website name okay and here is the website let's copy that put that in there that's annoying that it keeps popping up like this i mean it's pretty obvious dude unless you're dealing with complete morons is wine wineries and vineyards so they actually have our industry detailed information wine blog it's about as detailed as it needs to be right add keywords here okay you could select keywords from here what do we have to add them for then you can select language of your article add competitors url for what it was credits it's going to cost so is it a credit system i thought it was articles yeah it says you get 50 seo articles so I'd, why would there be a credit system where do we find out how many credits we have okay so here's what you get when you finally log in so over on the right we got create article we got the content calendar it pops up these annoying little tidbits every five seconds. I wish there was an option to remove that because it's extremely annoying after the seventh one. Here's where you look at your articles already created. You can do bulk articles, so that's good. You can create bundles. So is this like clusters? Create bundles of multiple articles in it. Do the interlink? Yes, interlink the articles. I like that. And then you do the base URL. Okay, see, that's a neat idea. I like that. Product blogs, your own product or an affiliate product. That's interesting. We'll have to try that. Case studies. Write a case study for your product. That seems a little shady. You got your team settings and then your configurations. Looks like you, you can connect a WordPress, Webflow, Pabbly, Shopify, and Zapier. No make. Okay, so the credits we have are 2,500. Article rate is 1.5 for five article. I don't understand what that means, but we're supposed to have 50 articles for the tier we're on. So based on the math, each article is going to be 50 credits roughly. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what that means. And we're on what they consider the light plan. Okay, it says you have bring your own key abilities, but according to this, you do not. So that's a lie. You can't bring your own key, at least not on the tier one. You do have to upgrade. You can buy single articles. Looks like they're a dollar an article. All right, so let's go try some stuff. So we got keywords enter your keywords here wine let's get some suggested keywords from that so what is the point of this i don't understand what the point of this is okay these are very high-end keywords uh, not great in my opinion best wine reasons to visit where okay so we'll do a detailed one first person storytelling third person storytelling Okay, just in case you guys can't see this, it's the tone of article. They have persuasive, first-person storytelling, informative, professional, formal, casual, presenter, third-person storytelling, narrative, descriptive, creative, and expository. Don't even know what that means. Okay, so we'll do casual because we're talking about visiting wine regions. That's just kind of relaxing, right? Language, we'll choose English. They do have English, Chinese, Spanish, French, German, Polish, Hindi, Urdu. Not sure what that, that one is. Arabic, Japanese, Italian, and Russian. So we're going to stick with English. And then the article type, you got text only, single images, or multi images. We'll do multi images, see what we got. Add a competitor URL, or we won't bother. And as I suspected, it is 50 credits per article. It's weird that they have it in that way. It just seems kind of pointless. Let's go ahead and do the magic. So that's it. It's very easy to use. Let's see what it pops out in a little bit. So let's go to content calendar, schedule a new article. My articles, that one's still writing. We can do bulk, new bundle. So the bulk you have to do in a bundle. Number of articles, 10. Use language, English, do nominal. 
enter link, base URL. Next. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here with the keywords. I'm just kind of adding a bunch. We'll see what happens. We'll keep it casual. We'll do multi-image articles because text only is obvious. Single image is obvious. So let's try the images, see what they can really do. We're not going to enter in a competitor URL because that's stupid. So it's going to cost us 400 for 10. Great bundle. It didn't even let us choose our keywords, like the actual targets. So that's interesting. Product blogs. We'll do that in a second. That one's still going. Okay, so let's do a product blog. Let's do, do an affiliate product. So let's go to Amazon. Let's do a wine rack. We'll do a wine rack review for this one. So we click that. Copy. Actually, we really just need this here. And then it should really just be a link you type in. So this is weird. This doesn't look anything different than the regular articles. Own product, product URL. This one doesn't have a product URL though. Okay, there we go. Enter product query, wine rack. Product blogs seem really stupid. I would say these are a fail, completely useless. Yeah, let's try that one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see any value in their product blogs. That's, that's retarded. Case study still seems kind of weird to me as well. I see z zero value in any of this so far. Let's go to articles. This one's still pending. It's taken forever. So let's view articles over here. All right, looks like we got one that's done. This is five tips for planning the perfect vineyard wedding. Experience the magic by tying or of tying the knot surrounded by the beauty and nature of vineyard weddings. As you walk down the aisle amidst the lush vineyards and picturesque landscapes, imagine exchanging vows in a setting that exudes romance and elegance. Vineyard weddings offer a unique charm that combines the love for wine with the celebration of love. That was a horrible sentence. Creating unforgettable moments for you and your guests, immerse yourself in enchanting ambiance of boutique wineries and iconic venues, where every sip of wine and every moment shared becomes a part of a treasured memory. Okay, the pictures are just okay. I would say they're pretty low-grade AI images. Look at her face, for example, right there. Oh, that's awful. Looks like a demon. At least they're the same style. They're keeping the same style. That's something... The actual writing is pretty high reading level, I would say, and just basic. It's okay. It's not bad. I've seen worse articles. So let's go back. How do we go back? I don't know. You can edit the article here. Looks like you edit by section. There's no way to regenerate the section. There's no way to regenerate the image. I don't like that. You can add an image. You can delete the whole section, but you can't regenerate it. Not overly impressed with that. Could be worse, though. Okay, next up. Wine and food pairing. Exploring the delightful harmony of wine and food pairing. Okay, again, the images are basic, but they're not terrible. I probably wouldn't use them, but I've seen worse for sure. Another basic article. It did interlink the articles. That's great. Okay, so interlinked the articles. So the bulk is pretty cool. It's also faster than the regular article production. See, that one's still going pretty slow here. Let's go down. Wine tourism. Oh, those don't match at all. Not bad. Let's see the original one. Top wine vis or regions to visit for memorable wine tasting experience. Okay, so it looks like it uses a bunch of those keywords that you wrote in there. This article is terrible. Absolutely horrible. This has nothing to do with wine regions at all. It's a complete mishmash of crap. This is garbage article. All right. I think I've seen enough. So let's go over the plans and then I'll tell you what I think of Rankify. It does have a lot of integrations. The price is fairly cheap. It's $59 for 50 SEO articles per month. The tier two is $190, but you get 300 SEO articles. You get multiple workspaces at that point and you can bring in your whole team. So value to what you get is just okay. It's very low end AI writing in my opinion. It's kind of a lot of work to get the keyword, to find the keywords. Their keyword generating system is awful. I don't like it at all. It doesn't even make sense. And looks like when you add extra keywords that aren't relevant to the main topic, it does throw off the article itself. I would not use this. I'm going to absolutely refund this. I do not recommend it. This is a two out of five tacos at best. And that's being generous. Could you eventually probably maybe build some traffic with this? Yeah, sure. I mean, Google ranks junk content all the time, but I would be embarrassed to put these on my websites. They're not good. They're not good articles. 
The AI images are just okay. They're better than what I heard they were. It's not Lorem Ipsum, so that's a plus. I've seen worse AI writers out there, but this is not a good one. I do not recommend Rankify. You know, if you don't have an AI writer, maybe you want to try it out. It's 59 bucks to jump in and check it out. If you, oh, oh yeah, one other thing. The tier one does not have bring your own key, even though it does say that they have it in the comments. It says they have it for both tiers. That's not true. I haven't tested tier two and I'm not going to test tier two because I'm refunding this, but tier one definitely does not have it. So that's it. I don't really have anything else to say on this one. Don't buy it unless you absolutely need an AI writer that is cheap because it's cheap. There are other ones out there that are better than this for around the same price even. So, but yeah, that's the Rankify review. Overall, don't recommend it. Two out of five tacos. I would stay away from this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.